couple of hours before this latest launch, the UN Security Council convened an emergency meeting to discuss North Korea's test firing of a ballistic missile over Japan two days ago. Amid condemnation from the U.S. and the U.N. Secretary General, China and Russia pointed at Washington, who they say are guilty of provoking the regime. Kim Yo-sun has the latest. The 15-member UNSC met on Wednesday to discuss a missile launched by North Korea on Tuesday that soared over Japan for the first time in five years. During the meeting, which was requested by Washington, ambassadors were briefed on the UN's response to the incident by the UN's Assistant Secretary General. He also added that Secretary General Antonio Guterres has strongly condemned the launch. Also, at the meeting, the U.S. accused Beijing and Moscow of protecting Pyongyang from attempts to bolster international sanctions imposed against the regime. The DPRK has enjoyed blanket protection from two members of this council. These two members have gone out of their way to justify the T DPRK's repeated provocations and block every attempt to update the sanctions regime. In short, two permanent members of the Security Council have enabled Kim Jong-un. The U.S. envoy also stressed that the U.S. remains committed to dialogue and diplomacy despite a lack of engagement from the North. At the same time, she underscored that Washington will not stand by as the regime directly threatens the U.S., its allies and the rest of the world. In response, China called for the UNSC to play a more constructive role in dealing with the North Korean issue rather than resorting to pressure. The Council's discussions and deliberations should contribute to a detente rather than fueling escalation. They should promote the resumption of dialogue instead of widening differences and forge unity instead of creating divisions. Russia reiterated that imposing sanctions against the North is a, quote, dead end that brings zero results. We have stated many times and are repeating it again. Introducing new sanctions against the DPRK is a dead end. It's a measure which, as we already stated, is bringing us zero results when it comes to the DPRK. China and Russia have blamed the joint military drills conducted by Seoul and Washington for provoking the regime, but such remarks have been rejected by the U.S., who made clear that there is no equivalency between the two activities. The meeting ended with member states failing to come to make a joint statement condemning the North's provocation. Kim Yo-sun, Arirang News.